What's up, y'all? It's the one and only Classic Coco. And I'm here with No Advisory Podcast. And we got my guy in the building. Just saw him perform. Yep. Great. So, you know, you all know Advisory Podcast. Of course, we got to ask you three simple questions, okay? Mm -hmm. Who you are, where are you from, and what the fuck you do? <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Tony Wavy, Hip Hop Picasso. Uh, where I'm from, I'm a, and a lot of people, like like Art said, he said a lot of people don't know he's from New Orleans. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, south of Detroit, Monroe, Michigan. Okay. I moved here to Charlotte, then going like when I was like 10. So, you know, I rep Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? I love Charlotte. So, you know what I'm saying? Charlotte, the city right now. And what I do, you know what I'm saying? I paint. Uh, I do hip hop and I'm just the all around creative. I do, you know, do it all when it comes to creativity. Hey, I love it. We definitely got to get into this amazing piece. Listen, he cuts up. He definitely cuts up. Oh, lift it up. Let him see your artwork. Okay, got to nice. let him see. Ooh, okay. Ooh. So when did, I just have to ask, because this is talented work. When did you start getting into drawing and painting? Uh, I've been drawing all my life, like, you know what I'm saying? I always love, like, cartoons, like, comic book stuff, so that's what really got me into it. Like, I just like Spider-Man, Spider-Man that guy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And from there, I really started painting in high school, and, you know, I took that joint on full-time after school, and that's all I do. You know, I'm a full-time painter. Oh, I love it. I love it. So, you paint, you do music. When did you start doing music? Yeah, uh, I started doing music, like, when I was, like, 18, 17, 17, 18. That's when I first started doing music. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I hear me the whole time, or we just missed the whole thing. No, they can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the mic out the whole time. But, right. Um, well, you know, I got into music when I was like 17. So mm -hmm. like, for, like really doing recording music. But I've always been in the music. Uh, you know, around like 10th grade, I went to the joint called ITF. Y'all heard of ITF with Dennis Reed? They was on like mm -hmm. uh, Dennis Reed Jr. They was on what is it? Joint America's Got Talent. So they had this little club joint, uh, man. Basically, you know, you could either you go in there as like a little after school joint, and you could do hip hop, art, dance. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, so I already do art. Let me go ahead and do some, you know, rap and poetry. Right. And then that's when I really like got fully into it. But like, you know, music always been in my life. You know, I'm a church boy. You know what I'm saying? Love the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mama, mama. You know what I'm saying? You a tenor. All my, all my aunties. Oh, being from Detroit, you had the Clarks. You know what I'm saying? Clark sisters. Look, look, look my, I got some, pa my uncles, great uncles, they pastors up in Detroit. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, all my aunties, they sing. All my uncles playing the drums, band, you know what I'm saying? That's what I grew up around, music. But one of my uncles, he was really heavy into like making beats. And mm -hmm. that's what really, you know, got me into it. And I was like, damn, I love this. I love this. I feel like if you grew up in a church, because I was an alto on the choir. Yeah, like, I feel okay. like if, when you grow up in a church and you're on the choir and you just in music, like, you end up growing that love for music I'm, and look, just. I'm yeah. trying to say, all the best artists in the world, if you watch the interviews, most of them come to, come from church. Tank, right. Tory Lanez, even though he in jail. Uh, y'all see, seen his daddy. Uh, okay. Who else? It's a lot, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, me. I love <laughs> it. So. I just have to ask, so you do a plethora of things. If you could choose one thing to do for the rest of your life, what would you do? Uh, that's hard to choose. If I had to do one thing, I'd just be a creative. That's it. Ah, uh, yeah. that's, that's so much. That's, you got you to gotta... be a creative. Now, uh, I don't know. It's hard to choose between art and music, to be honest. Like, right. you know, I do all forms of art. And they just kind of coincide, you know, with each other. And I really love music. Like, art has really become a thing where it's like, okay, I do that for work. I do that to make money. And I do love to do it as a pastime, but I think I prefer music because it's just like, that's like, I find freedom in music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can be myself. I can express myself in a way that I can't express in art. Right. Like, I can say the things that I can't say in art. You know what I'm saying? And music is just like, you could just be so creative with it from the... From the flows that you use, the cadences that you use, the words that you say, to you know the beat that you choose, and all you know evokes a feeling that you haven't felt before, and it could touch the masses. Some people may see art, but when you hear music, like it could touch everybody. Yes, I love music. Definitely, music is just it's gonna feed the soul. Feed it's the soul. Feed the soul. You know what I'm so let us know about your current project you have out, and also it's about to be a new year. So what can we expect from you in the new year? Okay, so it's a lot you can expect, and it's 2023, so by the way, I'm 23, you know what I'm saying? It's 2023, so you know what that means? It's my Jordan year, you know okay. what I'm saying? So <laughs> with my Jordan year, you know, I plan to drop some a lot of new projects. So my current project right now is called Hopstar. 
Uh, it's all on all platforms. It's a dope project. I got my boy Johnny one time, producer of YH Art Gang. I forgot the name. I got to shout out the gang. YH Art Gang, you know what I'm saying? That's my collective. Those is my people. That's my family, my brothers, my sisters, kings and queens. When we come together, like, you know what I'm saying? We go crazy. So, number one, Johnny one time, our producer. We got a tape coming with him. TQ, what to do? I got tape coming with him. You know what I'm saying? We got some collective tapes. Uh, I'm dropping some hella singles, hella videos. Like, I'm going crazy with it. Like I said, it's Jordan, you know what I'm saying? It's Jordan year, so I got I got to get my six rings. I'm trying to hit global this year, so the goal is to be global this year. Like, I ain't I ain't to play with, so make sure y'all remember, Tony Wavy. Like, y'all see me now, y'all see me wait till the end of the year. Okay. Ooh, he said wait till the end of the year. Wait. Okay, so I have to ask my signature question. If you could use three words to describe who you are, what three words would that be? Uh, I say, uh, I'm a family man. Okay. I'm a creative. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a man of God. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Okay. With God, you can you can't do lose. all things. All things Yay. to Christ. You know what I'm saying? So it's just all love. I'm just I just come here to spread love. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no religious religious person. I just, you know, just do me and, you know, spread love to wherever I go. That's the brand, you know, talk love on the shirt, on the hat and everything. So y'all tap in with the brand and everything. I just come to spread love. That's it. Hey, so Tony Wavy, let them know where they can find you on all social media platforms. So Tony Wavy, Tony with a Y, W-A-V-Y. So on Facebook, Tony Wavy, Instagram, Tony.Wavy. Just search Tony Wavy. Uh, TikTok, Tony Wavy, you know what I'm saying? Music, Tony Wavy. So, you know what I'm saying? It's the same all around. So y'all just tap in with the music. I got crazy videos. All shot by my boy, Artist Life to God. We going crazy. Art. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. Hey, it's lit. Thank you so much for coming on No Advisory Podcast. We Thank got a you. special event. So it's your girl, Classic Coco, and it's... Say your name. Oh, Tony Wavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, Let I, know. Know. I thought you were about to say it's No Advisory or something else. I, <laughs> But shout out to No Advisory. I'll be hey. watching y'all podcast. I'll be going crazy. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to CEO. Shout out to Classic Coco. Shout out to Trap Sid. Shout out to um, Mookie Bookie. Yeah, no, I just like, <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody. I'll be, I be, I be tapping in with the videos. Y'all be going crazy. So I'm just happy to be here. Much love to all of y'all in here. So yeah. Hey, we appreciate you. And it's your girl, Classic Coco with No Advisory. We signing out.